Hi you guys, happy Friday. So today I had the weekend off. I didn't have any bookings, any parties to do. So I thought I would seize the day and I would take my kids on a little nature walk at the El Dorado Nature Center. If you're in the Long Beach, LA area, Orange County area, you might be familiar with it. It's a super cute uh, nature trail. It's about four miles. Um, I'm gonna be doing it by myself with my two young ones pushing a double stroller. So I hope you guys join me. Come on. Today we're gonna be visiting the El Dorado Nature Center, you guys. Stay tuned for my little review and my little overview on this place. So we just finished parking and there's plenty of parking. There's actually a little park right over there too if you don't want to do the nature walk. I have my little ones here. I have my tripod just to get some cute little pictures. Um, it is during quarantine, so I still recommend that you bring your uh, mask. My son has his right here. Uh, my, my daughter, she's still a little younger and she doesn't keep, keep hers on. But the beautiful thing is we are in nature. People still keep their distance. So I'm super excited. We're walking up to the front right now. This is what you're gonna be looking at and I'm sure this lady's gonna tell us what to do next. They do have this little guy here and they just kind of tell you exactly what they want you to do. They do ask you to keep your mask on. Sorry about the noise, you guys. Um, but they do ask you to keep your mask on until you get into the trail and then you can take it off, which actually makes sense. I do like that. So as you walk in, this is what you're going to see. And this is a little calendar that kind of has uh, some activities that they have going on during the week. Obviously right now because of COVID, uh, they've stopped all of their activities. Uh, but this is the beginning part of this trail. And it's really cute because they have uh, areas for big groups right here, uh, right over here. I'll get a little closer and what I think these are for is when they have uh, big groups come in here they can sit down obviously right now they're close because we're trying to social distance we're trying to keep that six feet away um, when you walk in they do ask you to wear your mask until you get to the trails which isn't too far from here so this is what it looks like the landscape is very nice it's very upkept you don't see any trash anywhere, which I think is beautiful um, because sometimes you do go on nature walks and you do, you do see a lot of debris, but it looks like they do upkeep this place very well. And as you're coming into the little museum that they have straight ahead, um, you have your first bridge. And this bridge is super cute. I believe they have three bridges here. And uh, this one, goes like this just like that it's beautiful you guys I highly recommend it they have a little museum up here and this place is kind of like a little recreational area they have a lot of um, insects uh, they have reptiles and all sorts of things in there with educational things. Uh, obviously, right now they are closed because of COVID, of course, but it's amazing that they still have the trail going because who doesn't like a little trail uh, during these times to get out, get out in nature? So I was saying before, they do have like a little museum and there is a sign up there that does say it is closed. So that's very unfortunate, but the trail is still open. The bathrooms are still open and they're still offering um, to give uh, the year pass, it, the annual pass. If you're interested in coming, if you like being around nature, you want to purchase that, they have it for you. So there's that at least. Let's keep going. All right, you guys. So this is the same little uh, pond, or I don't even know what you would call this here, but um, this is the same one that's in front of the little museum. We were just over here. 
but look how beautiful this is it's just breathtaking um, and there's this gorgeous bird right here I mean this camera video does not do it justice on how big this bird is right here There, there is a good amount of people here, but everyone seems to be keeping their distance. So that's always great. You have a couple minutes to take pictures and all that good stuff. Say hi, bug. So now we are heading into the trails. The trails are right over there and they do have some trail guidelines. And uh, this nature um, museum does have a nature kids camp. Unfortunately, right now they are at a stop because of COVID. But if you're interested in putting your kids into these clubs, these sound really awesome. Um, they seem very educational, but super fun. I mean, what kid wouldn't want to be out here? There's another little bridge and this is where the trails are going to begin. Actually, we're going to be going this way. We have some cute little turtles out there too. That is so cute. Um, my son really enjoys looking at them. Uh, we're going to walk over here and this is where it tells you uh, what kind of trail you'll be looking at depending on what way you go. You can go to the one and two mile trails or you can go to the one and four mile trails. Obviously I have the kids so I think I'm going to be going to the one and two mile trail. And this is the map that they show right before you start the trail of the whole place. So we're going to be going on the one to two mile trail. Obviously, I have my kiddos and I'm by myself, so I don't want to take on too much and need to get out for an emergency. So this is the way we're going and this is the way it's starting to look. But I'm super excited. It's super cute. I've been here before, but definitely it's always a new experience every time I come. And along the trails, it's really nice that they have uh, some benches uh, where you can sit and enjoy the scenery. Look how great that looks, you guys. See, there's a couple people down there and there's a couple people coming down this way, but um, this is normally about how it looks. Now on the backside of where we're looking at, this is how that looks. This is where we started and we're just going to keep on moving this way. As we keep on walking on this trail, there are little parts where you can get really close to the water. Uh, something like this. It's not deep. It's like ankle length, but it's so cute. Just enjoying the sound of running water like this. It's very cool. And of course, it's always a good time to take Another a selfie. Another really neat thing is that they do have a lot of these around the nature trail. They do let you know like what you might see, if you might see squirrels, bunnies, all of that. And they kind of like educate you on what you're looking at or what you might experience. So that's very, very cool. So I'm heading back down now. Um, I am here by myself and the upward uh, walking was a little rough for me. So I'm just gonna continue going down this way. All in all, you guys, I had a good time with my kids. I highly recommend this place. Just keep in mind if you're ever interested in coming and taking pictures here and in the nature trail, they don't allow that. I don't specifically know why, but they don't uh, like for you to do it. If you want to sneak it, it's up to you, but I'm just here to let you know. They're turtles, huh, buggy? 
Turtles, yeah. Obviously, they don't mind if you do have your personal phone camera and a camera on your waist, like a cannon. I think they just don't want you to stop and cause traffic as people are coming and going. So I made it, you guys. Uh, we went on a two-mile uh, walk at the El Dorado um, nature walk. I went with my two kids pushing a double stroller. It was really cute. Um, I hope you guys like this. If you guys have any questions, obviously go in the link, add your comments, your concerns. <laughs> um, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. My Instagram and TikTok name is M Supreme. I am the Crafty Mamas. Thank you guys for uh, joining me on our little adventure.